plastic waste, used paper, leftover food, remains of all animals and humans, and other crops. Where do they go? Bruno? Fishy, do you know where they go? Hmm, I don't know. No, it's okay. Because today, I'll teach one of the environmental principles which is everything must go somewhere. Oh really? That's interesting. Do you know what it is? Wow, looks delicious. That is a leftover food. Correct. This leftover food sometimes is your food, and once your stomach digests it, nutrients from this food come into your body, and those left after your digestive system absorbs nutrients is your feces. Yeah. A leftover food also can be used as gas once it turns into methane after it decomposed, and your feces once expelled from your body, it will decompose and this is a primary food source of some bacteria. Sometimes it is used as plants fertilizer for additional nutrients for their growth. Wow! Amazing! Bruno, do you know what will happen to our bodies after we die? Mm, it will decompose. Yes, correct! With the help of nutrient cycle, the benefits of the cadavers to the soil are multiple and they support other creatures and the whole ecosystem. How about this? That's a plastic waste. Yes, correct. Plastics is one of the dangerous waste produced by industrial and domestic. Plastics are not organic compared to remains of animals and peelings of fruits and vegetables. These materials don't exist in nature, and therefore, there are no naturally occurring organisms that can break them down effectively or at all. The chemical bands in plastic materials are not accessible or familiar to bacteria in nature. Nevertheless, do you know that we can turn it into into byproducts which are usable for everyone? Yes, possible. Let me explain something. Plastics is everywhere. This plastic waste is highly recyclable. Plastic bottles from soft drinks and any plastic waste can be recycled into Christmas lanterns, flower vase, pencil case, basket, and shining shimmering house decor, and many more. And you know what is interesting? Our fishermen use empty bottle as fish aggregating devices to attract fish. As a matter of fact, NGOs and government working together to beat plastic pollution in the Philippines. By doing recycling, we can preserve our ocean and protect marine life against serious damages when it comes to their health. Don't let plastics go somewhere like our oceans, our rivers, and lakes. Rather, we must practice, reduce, reuse, and the most important, recycle. Our planet Earth is our responsibility. Wow, that was amazing! I learned a lot from you, Marky. Bruno, can you summarize what we discussed today? Yes! Today, we tackled about that everything must go somewhere as one of the environmental principles and deals with organic and inorganic materials. The organic materials like peeling of fruits and veggies, remains of dead and animals, and humans return into nutrients which benefit again to all living organisms. While the non-organic materials like plastics can be recycled and turn it as by products. Absolutely! Well, let's have another fun learning videos again next time! Goodbye!